So what do an audience want? What do they actually want? Because sometimes as performers, whether it's a public speaker, actor or singer or dancer, we make the assumption we know what they want and we assume they want us to do our job really well. And so we go on stage wanting to do our job really well, wanting to get all the words right, wanting to get um, the, um, all the movements right, if there's movement, wanting to get all the notes right, wanting to get it all right, because then we'll do a good job and we'll serve our audience. But that's not what an audience wants. They may not always know it, but what an audience wants when they go to a live performance is they want to be moved, they want to think, they want to feel, they want to go, ah, um, if it's a public speaking thing and, and really understand, or they want to go, if it's a singing thing. They, when you th If you think about the best performance you've ever been to, I bet it's one where you were moved. And that's not always what we think about when we go on stage. And there's a difficulty because if we're thinking about wanting to do it well, do it right, nail it in the sense of get all the notes, get all the words, not mumble, not stip, not skip, not tumble, like that, not, not stumble or trip was what I was trying to say, like that. Um, then we start doing this over analysis. We start trying to control. If instead you go on and you think, what do I want my audience to feel? What do I want my audience to go away thinking? Then it flips the perspective and it flips what you actually go out trying to do. It means you go out focusing on the audience and you are so much more likely to deliver what they actually want. And you're so much more likely to get them to listen to you because you are connecting with them to try and deliver them a feeling to get them to think to get them to feel and and then you're including them in what you're doing and again that's why we go to live performances and even if you're doing a recording like I am it's it's why we listen to people we listen because we want to connect we want to learn we want to feel so next time you go and perform, instead of thinking, right, I want to get it all right, I want to, you know, even I want to nail the emotion, instead think, what do I want my audience to think and feel during and when they leave? How do I want to impact my audience? Not how do I make them impressed with what I've done? Thank you for listening.